Good morning, my brothers and my sisters. Welcome back to another Word of Encouragement, Your Health Tip and a Prayer with Dr. Deborah Williams, a.k.a. Dr. Debs. I greet you well from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I greet you well from the Kingdom of God. Yes, Jesus Christ, our big brother, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He was born to die, and he has paid the price to give us back the right and the privilege to be God's sons and daughters. We celebrate the Father, for God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. It's all about love. It is the most amazing love story as you read from Genesis to Revelation and from Revelation back to Genesis. And you pick up from Genesis to Malachi, Old Testament, and you pick up from Matthew, come back to Revelation and the Holy Spirit opens up the word and the world of God to us fallen though we are but redeemed redeemed bought back by Jesus blood the father sent his son on a mission to get us back and so we can celebrate it is there brothers and sisters it's there those who have not yet given their lives to Jesus give him your will to become one with him he gives us the power to overcome sin and Satan and so we celebrate this morning so welcome back to our word of encouragement, your health tip and a prayer. We are in the month of October, and as you know, every year, October is celebrated worldwide as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's so well known, even children. Everywhere you go, you see pink ribbon, pink ribbon. But what about the spiritual cancer? It is a spiritual cancer that's causing the physical cancer. The only reason why we have cancer affecting everybody is because of cancer of sin. Because what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. And because Adam and Eve disobeyed God, they broke the law. And here comes the curse. But God did not leave us there. He spoke salvation when he said in Genesis 3.15 that he will put enmity between the seed of the woman and the seed of the serpent. That was a declaration that he would send his son one day to redeem mankind. Christ came over 2,000 years ago. And here we are. Jesus going after each human being, where art thou? Even as he went in the garden that day, said, Adam, where art thou? Adam was hiding from his creator. What the devil has done, you know, he has stolen our heart from God. Adam and Eve loved God. He used to come and meet them in the garden. There was no fear. There was no fear because perfect love cast out fear. But the moment they sinned, they broke his law. They disobeyed God. They were hiding. And today, men and women are still hiding from God. But because of the love of God, he comes after us. Where art thou? Today, Dr. Debs is asking you today, as Jesus is calling, he says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. So I am a servant of the Lord, used by him to call men and women, children, come back. Where art thou? We have a savior. Where art thou? Come to Jesus. Be safe in his holiness be safe in his righteousness have your sins washed away with his blood the provision has already been made the pardon has been given it's called justification but you have to choose you have to believe father in heaven we thank you for this great plan of salvation we thank you lord jesus for being the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth we thank you jesus that when you left the earth after you did your work and conquered the devil and won back your people on the earth yes man was made in god's image and likeness but because of disobedience man became afraid of his loving father but jesus you came you came in the flesh you will live out the life to be our example so that we can see and look and feel and touch and know that we can overcome even as you overcame by the power of the spirit of your father who is in us and we thank you jesus because you said you are going back to your father and our father to your god and our god we are one again in we are one again in the father because of jesus christ so thank you abba father thank you holy spirit thank you lord jesus may you bless every person hearing this presentation today lord and those who will hear in the future May you bless your daughter, Deborah, as I present on your behalf. Unworthy I am, but chosen to be your instrument. A word of encouragement, a help if I'm praying for brothers and sisters around the entire world, because we're all in one family. In Christ's name we pray, with thanksgiving and love. Amen. So for the month of October, my brothers and sisters, 
And the, remember I told you, every Friday we do a program called Your Health in Review. Jesus Christ, the great physician, invites you. That's the topic on the flyer, right? Your Health in Review. Every Friday is done from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Google Meet. The password is ZUW. Z X O F D G P. I post the I, I post the um advertisement and the flyer on my Facebook page every week. Just go to Williams Debra on Facebook and you'll see the flyers. Sign on, share the posters with others. We're going through spiritual health and physical health, showing people that there is a way for us to be in good health and prosper even as our soul shall prosper. But for the month of October, I'm looking at cancer. Cancer prevention causes and natural remedies. Our scripture focus comes from 1 Thessalonians 5, 23, 24. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that call you who also will do it. We have a faithful Lord. He has promised to keep us in health, our soul, our spirit, our body, preserved by God up until his coming. So we can live in this world and we can be in health if we will learn from Jesus and cleave unto Jesus. Now, as I was doing the presentation on Friday gone, looking at cancer, every one of us, I don't think there's anybody who I speak to nowadays who have not lost a loved one to cancer, whether it's a husband or a wife, a brother or a sister, a son or a daughter, an aunt or an uncle, a nephew or a niece, a neighbor, somebody. But as I looked at the topic last Friday when I was doing the presentation, I had to remind the listeners as I, as I remind you today. For those of us who have lost loved ones to cancer, God gives us comfort in his word. In Revelation 21 verse 4, God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. And so we look forward to the blessed time when Jesus shall return, when the devil and sin shall be destroyed. Death is the last enemy that Jesus is going to destroy. And so the time is coming when we won't be crying, we won't be grieving, there'll be no more sickness, no more cancer. In Romans 8, 38 to 39, Brother Paul, Saul converted to Paul when he met Jesus. And so as we do the presentations, our objective is for you to meet Jesus. We're lifting up Jesus that you will have a one-on-one -on -one encounter through us. You'll meet Jesus, you'll be attracted to him and you'll come and see a man. In Romans 8, 38 to 39, Brother Paul says, for I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So when our loved ones die, as Christians, make sure that when you are on your loved ones, you are introducing them to Jesus. We're fasting and praying for them. We're praying for the baptism of the Holy Spirit that just in case anything happens, whether it is cancer or whether it's an accident, it doesn't have to be cancer to take you out, right? Whatever it is, that when we die, we die in Christ because death cannot separate us from our Lord Jesus Christ. It's only asleep if you are in Jesus. But then I take my patients and I take my family members when loved ones have died and we're grieving. I take them, I, the grieving is going on. I take them to Isaiah 57, Isaiah 57, 1 and 2. The righteous perish it and no man lay it to heart and the merciful men are taken away. None considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. So here we are being told by God through the prophet Isaiah that we don't take into consideration that sometimes the righteous, the good ones, our, our brothers and sisters who were faithful to the Lord and they came out with cancer and we prayed for them and we fasted, but they died. Remember, they're only sleeping. 
God says he has put them to sleep, taking them away from the evil to come. They're only resting in peace. The devil cannot disturb them anymore. So we don't grieve as those who have no hope. Then we go to Psalm 116 verse 15, which says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Precious, precious. It's not precious to me when my aunt died from breast cancer last year. It's not precious to me when my dearest darling friend Karen just died from cancer. It's not precious to me when I get the cause. It's not precious to you when you hear. But remember, if they were servants of the Most High, if they were serving Yahweh, if they had accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in the eyes of God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Elohim, in their eyes, precious is the death of god's servant because he knows they are only sleeping until the resurrection morning there's an eternity spread out before them and then we see revelation 14 13. then i heard a voice from heaven saying to me right blessed are the dead who die in the lord from now on yes says the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. So we are saved to serve. We as Christians are servants of the Most High God. We have been called to labor with Jesus to win souls from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. We have been saved from the kingdom of darkness. We have been redeemed from Satan. Our sins have been forgiven. God said, I throw them in the depth of the sea not to be remembered anymore and we are told in revelation 14 that when that time comes and death says close your eyes god says blessed happy blessed are the dead blessed are the dead who die in the lord when we die in the lord we who know that they were servants of god we shouldn't be crying as those who have no hope blessed are the dead who die in the lord from now on says the spirit they may rest from their labors and their works follow them so i encourage you this morning my brothers and sisters if you have not yet given your life to jesus christ is calling is there one more for jesus on this platform this morning i call you out friend i call you out brother i call you out sister is there one more one more for jesus is there one more out there in canada hearing dr dev's voice today one more in america hearing dr Vo dr dev's voice today one more in jamaica hearing dr dev's voice today one more in jamaica in the caribbean in africa one more anywhere on this planet where the holy spirit will take this taping one more through a servant of jesus hearing jesus calling you come home come home jesus is calling sinner man sinner woman come home i have already paid the price jesus says come unto me and i will give you rest we don't have to be suffering from the the spiritual cancer of sin the spiritual cancer of disobedience to the lord we can be quickened by god's holy spirit and so we pray for the anointing and the baptism of the Holy Spirit that we will be sealed in our foreheads. Yes, sealed with the Father's Spirit in us that we can choose righteousness and choose holiness. Day by day, we surrender our will to Jesus that we will with him be one, choosing the things that are right and holy and good and perfect because we now have power to overcome sin because we have received God's Holy Spirit, Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for the good news because it is good news. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in Jesus shall not perish but have everlasting life. We pray, Lord God, that you will heal us of the spiritual cancer that spiritual cancer that is destroying our spiritual lives that's separating us from you that like adam were hiding saying we heard your voice and we were afraid fear does not come when there is love there's no fear when there's obedience to god your commandments your ordinances your statutes for lord you have said in exodus 15 verse 26 if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes 
I will put none of these diseases on thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that he led thee. Thank you, Abba Father. We believe. By faith we come and we receive, we accept your blessing over our lives. In Exodus 23, verse 25, your word has said, Lord, if thou wilt serve the Lord thy God, I will bless thy bread and thy water, and I will remove sicknesses from the midst of thee. So we hold up our hearts, our bodies to you, even this very day, Lord. Please, God, if there are listeners today who are hearing my voice and they're trembling and they're in fear, I pray that you will remove fear from them. And like the Father who said, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. I pray they will fall on their knees and prostrate themselves before you and say, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief and surrender their lives to Jesus. This is our prayer with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, as I did the research and prepared the PowerPoints to do the cancer presentation number of deaths by cause worldwide 2019 the stats shows over 10 million persons died from cancers of all type in 2019 by the time we got to 2020 we see over 9.9 .9 million persons plus 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 recorded who died from cancers of all type lung cancer leading the pact lung cancer then colon cancer then liver cancer then stomach cancer then breast cancer then esophageal cancer then pancreatic cancer then prostate cancer and then we see a large piece of the pie over 35 percent other cancers 35 percent other cancers all over the human body we saw a lovely poster and I say lovely because the message on the poster was very interesting to my mind. It says, not all cancer is pink. And it marked out the pink, right? And then on the poster, it says, um, ribbons of varying colors. The inv and they call it the invisible 88%. In other words, there's a big hype in October every year about breast cancer, the pink ribbon. But what about the hand and neck cancer, the Hodgkin's lymphoma, the, the kidney cancers, the appendix cancers? The childhood cancers, the leukemia, pancreatic cancer, stomach cancer, bladder cancer, cervical cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, thyroid cancer, endometrial cancer, the, the prostate cancer, the gallbladder cancer, all cancers. Now we see people just coming up with red ribbons and, and orange ribbons and purple ribbons and blue ribbons and um, the green ribbons and the green and white ribbon and the green and white and yellow ribbon and, ribbon and the white ribbon. Right, I say even tiger stripe ribbon and black ribbons, light blue, dark blue, shades of different colors, ribbons representing different type of cancers. But I also saw a flyer that says National Cancer Prevention Month, February each year. And I, I said, praise the Lord, but it shouldn't be February only. Cancer prevention, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Cancer prevention, cancer awareness. It can be prevented, my brothers and sisters. Cancer is a disease of diet and lifestyle. And as I did the presentation, I highlighted how I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2012. And when my doctors gave me the option of chemotherapy, radiation, mastectomy, and hormone therapy for five years, how I rejected it. And I highlighted how I was diagnosed with stage 2B, stage 3 breast cancer. And I explained what that means. And I'm going to be posting, uh, because it was taped, and I'm going to be putting it on my YouTube channel, hopefully by uh, late this week. So look out for that. Just go to YouTube and type in Dr. Debs, and we should be loading up that full presentation on cancer that was done last week, Friday. I went into the history of how come I came down with this cancer. And I looked at my life before I became a Christian. I looked at my very poor diet over the years. When I was two months old, my mother started feeding me with cow's milk formula because she was busy at work it led to years of constipation cancer is coming high consumption of refined sugar cow's milk meat you see it over pork and chicken and fish and oxtail and curry goat and every flesh you can think of shrimp cancer is coming the white bread the cereals laced with sugar and preservative preservative cancer is coming the sodas the bun the cheese the eggs the butter the eggs laden now with hormones steroid and antibiotics the cancer is coming the pastries i used to love pastry cancer is coming 
very fast moving lifestyle work and school high stress cancer is coming consumption of alcohol and coffee that was my natural everyday process before i became a christian cancer is coming lack of exercise lack of risk cancer is coming birth control taken for years oh yes cancer is coming because it's on the packet that birth control can lead to breast cancer and ovarian cancer didn't drink much water because i used to work in air-conditioned offices oh yes the cancer is coming got little sunlight if any at all because i used to leave home very early when it was dark and spend the whole day working at the office trying to become the next executive at a young age getting to work early leaving work late when the sun is down no vitamin d cancer is coming and of course i had no relationship with god at all and when you have no relationship with god the devil takes full control and he's going to ensure that you die from cancer or some disease because that's his job john 10 jesus made it very clear the devil has come to kill steal and destroy but god sent jesus to give us life and to give it to us more abundantly that was my background until 2007 when jesus came for me he said deborah where are thou and i responded to the call and i got baptized and all of this changed my entire life changed and i went to jesus and I started learning how to take care of my body. But even though that was 2007, by 2012, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Because even though I had changed much of that, I was still consuming a hope of flesh, still not exercising, still drinking the sodas, and cancer hit me. I went back to the Lord. And the Lord said to me, Deborah, read the book, The Ministry of Healing by Helen G. White. I started Bible studies. I started studying um, the spirit of prophecy. We call it the spirit of prophecy in the Seventh-day Adventist movement. Helen G. White writings. God called her to be a servant and has given her much information to guide his people that we can guide the world. The book is called The Ministry of Healing by Helen G. White. The Lord says, Deborah, read the book. Do what it says and you'll be fine. My brothers and sisters, I took out the book and I started reading it. And I saw exactly where the cancer came from. And that is where the New Start program comes from. Nutrition, a whole food, plant-based diet, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, rest, trust in God. Having an attitude of gratitude, a spirit of benevolence and cleanliness. And I went down that pathway. Went back, went back to my doctor and told him no chemotherapy, no radiation. I did a lumpectomy. I took out the tumor, but the cancer had already spread. I said, Lord, heal me, O Lord. The Lord says, James 5, 13, 15. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalm. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he hath committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. I read that as the Holy Spirit impressed my mind. I called for my elders. I called for my pastors. And my spiritual anointing was done. May, two, May 2012, I took out the lump. Cancer had already spread to my lymphatic system. And I said, Lord, I'm going to go your way. No chemotherapy, no radiation, no hormone therapy. And brothers and sisters, from 2012 until till this day, Dr. Dez, and by the way, today is... Uh, we're now October. Today is October 9th, 2023. I am alive and well, cancer-free. Not only did the cancer go away completely when I changed my diet and lifestyle and went on a new start program, but the fibroids that I had shrunk and the constipation went away and the brain fog went away. I took up about 45 pounds. My energy came back and my, my insomnia went away and I became a medical missionary for Jesus. I started teaching the next generation how to be healthy. I started cooking classes. I started learning. And every time I learned, I would share. I started having workshops all over Jamaica. I started going from island to island in the Caribbean, teaching my brothers and sisters. And hence, we launched Life, Health and Foods Ministries with my son, Delano. We started doing green juices and carrot juices. And we started selling the juices. And we started having classes. I came across books called Councils on Diet and Foods by Helen G. White, Councils on Health by Helen G. White. And as I was studying and I read, the Lord sent me back to school to become a doctor. So 2014, I went and registered in a university called the International Institute of Original Medicine. And I did my doctorate and I became a medical missionary, the right arm of the gospel. Jesus Christ had a threefold ministry. He would teach. He would heal and he would also preach. Now, many of the ministries today, the gospel, they are doing the teaching and the preaching. But where is the genuine healing? 
where is the genuine healing we've got to educate the people you can't put things in your body that's destroying your body and then come to the altar asking for prayer we've got to learn to do right we've got to learn to take care of our body temples so as i learned and i i went back to school i was teaching all over the caribbean and then we launched life health and foods wellness center life health and foods wellness center we are now located at shop number seven four springville avenue kingston jamaica our contact numbers are 876-878-8867 or 876-326-4650 or 876-306-4280. We do consultations for people all over the world. We pray with the sick and the suffering. We have Bible study with God children. We lift up Jesus. We teach the New Start program. And remember, I've told you on this program over and over, the first consultation, we do not charge. You simply make a contribution of any amount. And if you can't make a contribution, we still do your consultation. So we have been raised up by Jesus as medical missionaries, Seventh-day Adventist medical missionaries, to lead people back to the great physician, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our mission is changing lives, preserving and restoring health. So we're going on a journey. On Friday, I highlighted the China study. If you have um, your computer open right now, type in the China study by T. Colin Campbell. And you'll be amazed. We're having pink ribbon campaign and we're having all kind of campaign trying to discover, trying to learn the cause of cancer, the cure of cancer. We already know. The China study was the greatest, the largest nutritional study ever done in the 1980s, confirming without a doubt that the high um, numbers of cancer, all types of cancer, are coming because of diet and lifestyle. The, the, the findings from the, the study, the largest study ever done with over 80 million Chinese, it was a project by England in partnership with England, America, China, and other countries were involved in it too. 1983, 1989, the study was done. What was the finding? After examining several possible factors, the scientists found that the rich disease grouping, including the cancers and heart disease, was associated with total blood cholesterol and urea nitrogen. Where do we get urea, nitrogen, and high blood cholesterol? It comes from consuming animal products. So if we want to reverse the leukemias, the liver cancers, the colon cancers, the, the, the rectum cancers, the lung cancers, the breast cancers, the, the prostate cancers, the brain cancers, we have to change the diet and lifestyle. We have to give up all animal protein and go back on a whole food plant-based diet, implementing the New Start program. Nutritional whole food plant-based diet, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, rest, and trust in God. And so I am introducing you today on the platform that we're doing for the next three weeks in the month of October 2023. We're looking at cancer. I'll be uploading all the videos on my YouTube channel. Just type Dr. Debs or Dr. Deborah Williams YouTube and just, you will see them coming up week after week. We're going to be giving you all the stats, all the facts, what is causing all these cancers and how do we prevent them using natural remedies. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the opportunity to serve. We pray your blessing over your children on the seven continents of the planet called Earth. We thank you, Jesus, that you are the balm of Gilead and the great physician. We thank you that we have not been abandoned. We have not been left here to be the spoils of Satan. All he has come here to do and has been doing for over 6,000 years almost now is killing, stealing, and destroying. But Jesus, you have given us the power to overcome Satan. If we will yield, if we will surrender our will to you and be one with you. Father, thank you for your love and your blessing and your mercies. For indeed, you have promised, Lord, that you will give us the power to overcome sin if we accept your Son as our Lord and Savior. Yes, indeed, Heavenly Father, it is Christ who has become the medium of prayer between man and God. It is Christ who has become the medium of blessing between God and man. It is Jesus Christ who has united divinity with humanity. Oh, Father, we present ourselves to you this morning with thanksgiving in our heart for all that you have done. Lord, we thank you for the gift of salvation. 
our own souls can be saved through our connection with Jesus. And now, Father, with earnestness, we persevere in prayer to save those who are ready to die. Those who are still in the camp of the devil, those who are still in sin, may you set them free. May you set them free, Jesus. May you send missionaries out there to bring the bread of life to the people. Bless, anoint, and consecrate your sons and daughters on this earth. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Is our prayer with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My brothers and sisters, remember, Maranatha, Christ is coming again. Stay in the Holy Bible. Bible study must become our life. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed from the mouth of God. God bless you all until we meet again. Goodbye from Dr. Debs. And remember, Maranatha, Christ is coming again.